I always spend time in cities and I stopped I stopped living with nature and a pace of life that I should have lived earlier. This house, there are too many ghosts They hide within the cracks And always seem to know That I am the one who keeps them And that I shall be the one to release them The ghost of a child for the laughter The ghost of lost love forever after the battlefield is silent, now it's evening And I will soon be leaving The day I moved out of the cities in order to change my life, I naturally used more and more wet plate collodion to photograph a simpler life. I felt that it, it just fits it. It fits with a certain pace of life. Its flows and randomness illustrate perfectly an uneven, calm and lyrical environment. And I wander this field with a shovel, digging holes and burying you. Our house is still now but bleeding And I will not yet be leaving I'm quite an hyperactive person and I need to do a lot of things So this way of life, of waking up early, cycling, playing with the cats, gardening, spending time in nature, fishing or looking for my next place to shoot photographs is a good balance for me. I realize I need that. Less TV, more time in the lab. It's a little bit like cooking. You learn some old recipes and then you mix everything, you take the best ingredients and you add your little own spice or modern add to it and you get a nice meal. And the more you do it, the better you get at it, just like cooking. Photography was not as common in the 19th century or even in the 20th century. People had only a few photos documenting their lives and they were just carrying them around in their wallets or in their photo books. Now we live with a, a million of photos in a, in a hard drive that no one ever plug in anymore. My work with Amber Types is a multi-level paradox. It's images of dreamers and nature. This is nothing new, this is nothing sensational. It's just an intimate view of individuals in their solitude. Both this long process and the subjects are in opposition to a fast-moving and easily bored world. It's just a few glass plates against an endless flow of images. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
strong poses versus instant photography, organic versus abstract. And all of that contrasts with the modern era we live in, and it shows us how far we went and how excessive our lives can be. I shoot classic romantic images. What if those classic images of women and nature became sensational and rare? This process is not an end in itself. The user takes a stand. It's almost a political stand. By using this process, it's a refusal of the speed of modern life. Mm -hmm.